and welcome to Ready, Set, Pop. I am Ariel Basori, greeting you from Mexico City, and I'm here with two of my beautiful co-hosts, Lucas Apache from Brazil and Mauricio Sierra from Colombia. Hello, boys. Hello, Hello guys. How are you doing, feels, guys? It feels weird to be three again. I'm getting used to have guests with yes, us. Yes, <laughs> it's true. Don't be so exaggerated, Lucas. We've only had two guests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, thanks so much for being here in another episode of Ready, Set, Pop. Season two. Yay. Yes. Episode three. Yay. Yay. So three. we're growing, we're growing, and we're having a lot of fun doing this. Um, yes. Today's episode, it's just the three of us once again. And this is a topic that I chose um and it's all about mandy moore we want to know more about mandy moore so <laughs> <Yes>. um <laughs> because everyone so, yeah everyone what, how is the song everyone what a little piece of mandy moore or something like mandy that Moore. yes yes. <laughs> yes yes and uh well we know that she she's a great singer and actress and we want to make this conversation about her music career and acting career because she has done great job as an actress now now she's worldwide known uh, she has won several awards for her work in um, This Is Us, the this, this series. Uh, and, well, she keeps working, and she's a great person. We love her. Well, she's definitely one of the queens of the uh, late 90s, early 2000s pop music, alongside Britney, Christina, and Jessica. So she's definitely a favorite here for us, uh, for us three. So that's why I chose this t this topic, because I know there's a lot to talk about. And Mandy has a lot of, you know, uh, albums and movies and stuff that we can discuss. So, uh, okay. yes. are you guys ready? Yes. Yes, ready. Great. So, we know Mandy began when she was really, really young. She was the youngest of the four. I mean, Britney, Christina, Jessica, and, and, and her, she was the youngest. She no. was only 15 when she signed her record, record deal. And... Um, yes. I don't know what you guys think about her record, uh, her her debut album, So Real. What are your thoughts on on this album, Lucas? Uh, I know that there's obviously always going to be a lot of comparison between what she did in Britney and the others. Uh, so what what was your um your perception when the album came out, and what differences did you find between Britney and her and the others. Okay. Well, I have mine too here. Is the US version because it was not released in Brazil. Uh, to be honest, I I heard so real later. I I discovered Mandy uh, in two thousand with I Wanna Be With You because it was in a uh, soap opera soundtrack here in Brazil. But I was not super familiar with her image because I saw the music video only a few times and the song was not big here in the radio and things like that. So I really, really discovered Mandy Moore only in 2001 with Crush. Then I, I okay. bought the album and everything. So I heard this after. So uh, okay. for me, it was like uh, another pop album and when I discovered this, I was not super comparing to Britney and Christina and Jessica anymore. I was more comparing uh, with her other album, you know, the, the mm. self-title. So this for me sounded a little obviously childish, like the production is way more innocent, way more uh, bobo gum. And if I have to compare with the other girls, I don't think this production is that good because I think the other girls had more money and time to create uh, the album because I believe there was such a rush to to release Mandy to compete with the other girls. A a every label had a girl like, like her back then. But when it comes to pop music, of course, it's an amazing album is good to listen it's fun it's young it's mm -hmm. pop but i feel like she deserved more production and i believe that's the reason why she re-released the album later as i want to be with you that we are going to discuss um to here today 
Yes. And now, now I want to know, how did you know um, Mandy? How, w when was the first time that you saw her? And what was your, uh, your thoughts about her? It's funny because I discovered Mandy in 2010. Whoa. Because way I, later. That, yes, way later. <laughs> because I knew that Mandy Moore existed, but I didn't know that she was part of this huge uh, movement of the Princess of Pop. So I knew yes. her because of the movie of A Walk to Remember and because of the music, but I was not familiar with her product. So when I discovered, when I started like, looking for, for more music by her, it was a surprise because I remember a friend that loved uh, Princess of Pop so much let me know that Mandy was part of that. And I was like, how was that? I, I know Britney, Christina, and Jessica, but Mandy was part of that. I can't believe that. And in that moment, I, I start like like uh, searching for the music and for the videos. And I was like, so I, I became an instant fan in that moment because I like her, I like her so much in that moment. I remember yeah. seeing so real uh, the video, and it was very fun because I I perceived the song like with a subtle message, you know, like it, it, she, she's talking about her virginity, but at the same time it's very sweet. It's funny. Yeah. The song is funny, but I love her image and I love that she was trying to portray uh, the sweetest girl of that group. She was very mm -hmm. sweet. She was very innocent. And she was, as you said, Mary, she was very young because she was the youngest. Yes. So, yes. And, and, and it, was, it, was, it was a good surprise for me. I, I was like, okay, if at that moment the music industry wanted to, to, to portray a singer that was uh, really like, like the, this, this kind of virgin image, Mandy was this kind of girl, you know? Because in on Monday it was not about I I I never perceived or at least from this album I never perceived that she was showing something sexual you know she was very mm -hmm. sweet mm -hmm. she was very like she, she she was she was a kid so so yes it was it, it was so good and 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 I love the album I agree with Lukitas uh the album maybe in comparison to the others is not the best. But I think it's a good production. I, I love the production and I love the image of the real sweet girl, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because she was the yes. real sweet girl. She was the real innocent girl. So I, I love that she, image. Yes, she actually kept that image for so, so long. Because, and, and I think she's still out of the four, the most innocent, the one that hasn't had, you know, scandals throughout her life and that yes. she's she's always been yes. you know the sweet girl the innocent one and well that's something that that i really admire of mandy because we know all the mess britney has been to uh christina and all of her changes yes. and stuff and jessica obviously has been through a lot too so mandy has always stayed in the same lane so which is great yes because she she has had you know i don't, I don't know who are her references or who takes who has been taking care of her, but I know that they've done a good work because she always established as the sweet girl. And yes. probably that has something to do with the, the song Candy, which became her first single. Uh, <laughs> what is What are your thoughts on, on, on Candy? Um, did you like it? Because I remember seeing the video for the first time. It was years ago. Um, obviously, when it came out, it, it was airing on MTV here in Mexico. And... Um, I thought this is a Britney copycat because I was in love with Britney Spears. So then when the video was playing again, I was like, no, she, she does have her own style. I mean, she obviously sings pop music, but she seems so sweet too. The, the song is so fun. What are your thoughts on Candy, Lucas? <laughs> well, I, I really like it because uh, I, I think as we mentioned before, this whole Pop Princess thing really started with Robin 1995, mm -hmm. that album uh, with, with the song Show Me Love and Do You Know and this song uh, reflects a lot of that uh, candy actually Baby One More Time too so I think it's like 
in the same family, you know, of tracks. So it's kind of impossible not to like if you like pop music. Uh, I like the way she sings, like putting very strength in the the words and the way she she sings. You know, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, she's not the best dancer, and she always uh, talked about that she very knows that. openly. <laughs> Yeah, that she knows that, but the video is is really fun. But I again, I only pay attention on Candy way later, and I remember that in two thousand four, I I believe someone sang this song in a competition here in Brazil, like a sing a singing competition, and I was really rooting for this girl that sang this song, and she was not approved. But then. I was addicted on Candy by Mandy Moore for the very first time. Oh. Uh, so it took me a while to to fall in love with the song. It was only in 2004. Oh, okay. What are your thoughts, Mel? Do you think it was a good selection as a first single? I think it was a good selection. Maybe it's not my favorite uh, from the album. Actually, when I discovered Mandy Moore, the, 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 this that I was talking about, like in 2010 when i discovered she was part of that uh i remember that the the first song that appeared was candy so i was like oh, okay it's it's very poppy very like don't like so much but the video it's like a dream you know and being <laughs> i don't know but if you have any a dream like that for example to live in the us this is like a perfect life you know like living in the suburbs the 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 car and and all of this fantasy it's like a fantasy yeah. the be, i perceive the Rains, video milkshake yes <laughs> it's yes. like a dream come a true you guy. know and this is what <laughs> yeah, yeah a cute, cute guy. guy so this is this is what you dream about uh as as latino or me as colombian at that time i was dreaming like oh my god I, I, if i were like a teenager i want to live that life you know like this kind of like living in that house and having that life it's it's a fantasy for me and um, yes maybe it's not my favorite song but i think it was a good choice and i i i know that it was it was good in the charts not so not, much not so much yeah, I think. not really okay okay, okay. i think it was only 41 or, or oh, something like okay, this when you okay, okay. when you compare to britney christina and jessica yes. first singles uh she she wasn't that good but the thing with mandy she was never that good on charts but no i think she was always on tv so she was more like a personality on television okay. since always like always on mtv and things like that so she was good on the radio but back then uh the charts on billboard uh were different the way they counting the the points so oh, okay. being strong on the radio was not enough for her to to be good at the charts at least with candy she she okay. did better with other songs okay yes. and, and and it was it was very hard for her because a lot of competition going on you know like all the girls yeah. like 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 releasing this kind of nine, music a lot of yes, great songs yes yes so yeah <laughs> i mean it was yeah obviously a time when a lot of singers came out so establishing yourself as the biggest was difficult and we yeah. know Britney got the title so yes. but but she was always there beside yes. even yeah. though For even sure. though there was competition she she didn't care and she actually I, when i saw one of, of her interviews she mentioned that she was more interested in doing her thing because she yes. enjoyed singing so which is great because she gave us great albums so yes. before moving on to the re-release of So Real, which later became I Wanna Be With You, what is your favorite song from this album and your least mm. favorite song, Lucas? Oh, let me check here. It's here. Well, my favorite song would be... Oh, this is hard. I think probably Candy or Walk Me Home. Uh, okay. I, I really like Lock Me In Your Heart too. It's very sweet, very little girl in the it. bedroom dreaming, I don't know. The least favorite I think is mm, 
I don't know. I think love shots, maybe. Okay. And from one to ten, how would you rate this album? Uh, seven. Okay. Mao, your your turn. My favorite, uh, no doubt, so real. It's my favorite. I love the, all the concept, and I love okay the subtle message <laughs> because it's very interesting to <laughs> to know what is yes. what she she was talking about for real. And uh, to be honest, I know the album, but I don't have very present like in my mind the songs, you know. So uh, for me, maybe um, "Love You for Always," "No to Junk." Uh, these songs for me sounds very similar, like almost the same. But I think I have to pay more att more pay more attention to this album. Because I only know like the songs that I like, you know, like Lock Me In Your Heart, Walk Me Home, So Real, but it's not an album that I have very clear in my mind. Okay. Yes. Good. And how would you, you rank it? Uh, I'm sorry. My ranking. Uh, I go with Lukitas. I, I think it's a good, a good album and it's a seven for me. Okay. Great. What now, about my you? Favorite, my favorite song, I think it would be... Damn, it's hard. Um, uh, I'm gonna go with "Love You for Always." Actually, okay. <laughs> uh, there's something about that song that always puts me in a good mood. So okay, yeah. And my least favorite one would be "Let Me Be the One." I think it's okay. a cover, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, okay. So I, I I find it like, meh, okay, it's it's okay, but it's not like the greatest. <laughs> okay. So and my and my ranking would also be a seven. I think it's a great album, oh. but it's not like, wow, her best work. Yes, no, yes. no, no, no. Ever. Yes, yes, I agree. Right. So we know that she then re-released this so real under the name of I Wanna Be With You, which included um, new songs. Um, this is the album that I first got from Mandy. It was a gift from my dad. I and, too. Uh, this was the first that I got from Mandy. <laughs> Yes, because yeah. I didn't know there was uh, the the So Real album back in the day. Until okay. later, I found out that there was another album. So, um, besides, you know, the comparison, um, what are your thoughts on the new songs from this album? Do you think she evolved a little, that she sounded different? Or do you think it's, it, it was on the same level as uh, So Real? So Real, sorry. Lucas? Uh, for me, there's definitely uh, something more because I Wanna Be With You, I think is amazing production. It's a beautiful song. And the the remixes actually from Candy and I think so, it's so real. Uh, yes, the what Rob song. I think is more appealing to the, I don't have that the, the mainstream songs <laughs> uh, back then. But is different because here in Brazil we don't have the remixes because it was the the first album to be released here, uh, so is is different from U.S. So we have the regular version of Candy and everything in the U.S. The remixes are there, but I, I feel like she was trying to say, "Hey, I'm here. I have good songs too." They were trying to make her be more popular on the charts, which actually happened. Uh, because I Want to Be With You was way better in the Billboard. I think it was 21 or something mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. this. They re-released uh, Walk Me Home at some point, which I think was a mistake because th th there's no no point to re-release a song with the same music video. I don't know. It's weird. So overall, I think it's kind of messy, this thing of re-releasing one album with a yeah. different title, the same songs. I don't really like that. I think, I think it was were better to make a second album already. I don't know, but definitely there's there's more in this in this re release. And I think she was growing as an artist for sure. Yes, your thoughts, Mao? Actually, I was seen, and this is from Mexico. I bought this album here in Colombia. I remember, oh. and it was very cheap, and I was very happy when i found it because it was in that time in 2010 
when I became a fan yeah. of Mandy. So I oh. remember that I was in this uh, CD store and I discovered this album and I was like, oh my God, and now I'm a fan of this girl, so I have to have this album. So um, I think it was unnecessary because this is not like an album. It's like a, a, a compilation or something for me because the, the, uh, in, the, in, in, this, in this edition, it's not, they, they are not included the new versions, the, the remixes. So it's more like the same, you know, like for mm -hmm. the only new song. And if, if I if I'm wrong, you you let in, you let me know, friends. But the, the only new song is I want to be with you. Or the, mm -mm. are there other new songs? No, there's more. No, there's more. everything my oh. heart desires want you oh, okay. back. The way to my heart uh, and oh, your okay, face. Okay, Those so, are the yes. ones that are. That oh, okay. New. Okay. Yes. Yes, but yes, I, I, I think the same that Luca said. With these new songs, it's not. It was not necessary at that time to include the others. So yeah. I, I, I think it's pointless. But yeah. I, I wanna be with you. It's a hot song for me. It's a very beautiful song. It's a very beautiful ballad. And I think with that song, she was like stepping away from the other girls you know like okay i'm i'm the pop girl i'm one of the princesses but at the same time i'm sweet i have this voice i think it was like 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 a very good a very good single from that album but the album per se is not like a real album for me it's like a compilation with other songs okay. i think for us like brazil i think uh so Rio was not releasing in your counters too, no. uh, I guess. No. So I think for us, really works as an album because it's the first for for us for for the US. Uh, I wanna be with you was actually a single for the center stage movie, yeah. so it mm -hmm. could be only a single for a soundtrack. So I think it's weird. <laughs> yeah, for us it worked like the first album, but it actually wasn't necessary. Yes. But anyway, yes. So if you could choose uh, from the new songs from this album, which one do you choose as your favorite, Lucas? Is I want to be with you for sure because it's one of my my favorites by Mandy. I love the music video. I love how she looks. I love the actually. The, I don't know if you guys ever heard, but in the soundtrack of the Center Stage, the song is longer. Yeah. It's like uh, it's an extended more... version. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's different. I just discovered this recent, recently because I watched the movie, actually. I never saw it before. So I want to be with you for sure. It's, it's my favorite. Okay. And yours, Mel? For me, it's the same. And I think it's the highlight of the album. Okay. Yes. Good. Um, my favorite would you, be um, Want You Back. I love that song. Okay, it's a good yes, song. Yes, it's a it's yes. so sweet and yeah. and sad at the same time. It's like oh, don't go, please yeah. stay. So it's a it's a good song. And how would you rank it, if without you know knowing? It's a seven, seven two. <laughs> it's not that different. Okay, and you, Mal? No, for me it's a four. Really? Wow. wow. Yeah, yeah. And it's not about album. It's not about album, but it's like a compilation. For me, it's well, not a real yeah. album. Yes. For me, well, it's not a real album. It, it it grows for me an eight, because oh, the wow. the, okay. the new songs for me are better than the ones from So Real. So okay, yeah, it's an eight for me. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah, and then she, well, she released her first albums in 1999 and 2000, and in 2001 she she kept the pace with the other singers. She didn't want to be behind, so. She changed a little bit, well, not a little bit, a bit more, uh, with what she did for her self-titled album, Mandy Moore, which is, I think, our favorite <laughs> for the yeah. three of us. Yes, definitely. So, yeah. yes. yes uh, she, she changed a bit with her image. She didn't look so young now. She, she, she looked a bit more mature. She chose, yeah. well, she didn't. I think it was her record label. Uh, the singles that were released were In My Pocket and Crush and Cry, uh, which Cry was part of the movie to, um, of the soundtrack to A Walk to Remember, which is a beautiful song. Yes, we have it here, A Walk to Remember. 
we have the same version. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. M mine is Brazilian. Oh, oh. One more for the oh. okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. it's a beautiful movie. Uh, but we will get to Mandy's acting later. Um, yes. yes. Now, what are your thoughts on this album, Lucas? What um, what did you see different from the others? And what made you fall in love with this production? Oh, my God. This is hard to talk because for me, it's perfection. Like, I discovered Mandy, as I said, with Crush and... I was super in love with the song. It, it was a moment that pop music was, was starting to turn into something more pop rock than Bubblegum. And I think Mandy did that, uh, which is way different than Britney, Christina, and Jessica. Uh, so for me, it was brilliant to see that music video and, and the song. And I, I remember that I saw this album in a store like in 2001, but it was already in a used CDs part. So I don't know, someone probably gained this by uh, the parents and didn't, didn't like, like, I don't know. <laughs> but it was there and very cheap. Like, so I remember I did the same Mao did with Stacey Rico. I kept the money of the, the lunch of school for like no. one week. <laughs> and then I bought it and it was amazing to discover because it was not what I was expecting at all and for me even now it sounds fresh because it's different than the, the other pop albums like she uses a lot of Asian elements yes. in, in the songs there's a different type of music like when you listen to In My Pocket is it's kind of sexy, but there's cry that is very sad song. And Turn the Clock Around for me sounded very much like Hilary Duff a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. It's very sweet, very, very girly, you know, very pop. And I don't know, it is one of my favorite albums ever. I don't know if it's because I grew up listening to this, but I would never get over this. I can listen like forever. It's really good same, same. Yes. and you Mao, what do you think of I this, think album? this album is spectacular i love it love it love it love it love it uh I, this is very important for me because at that time i was so obsessed with cry so when this album came to me that moment it was like perfection you know like uh as lucas said having this girl that was very compared to the others in that moment releasing a new, very new material, very new material, very fresh, very different. It was so amazing because if you listen to Mandy's more this album, it's like it's impossible to compare to the others, you know, because you are seeing a, a pop princess but with a different elements. It's crazy because in 2001, that you know, and the audience know that 2001 is one of my favorite years in music. Same. You perceive that uh, in Britney's Christine, well, not Christina because she was not really seeing anything, but Britney's or Jessica's or the others, the underrated, like Michaela, Amanda, uh, Tonja, etc. You perceive the same beat, you know, this kind of beat mm -hmm. that is very, very distinctive from the 2001. But in this album, is is different. It's 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 not in this album. This kind of vibe yeah. It's very different. It's very pop, but at the same time, it's very, it's very, it's very deep. I, I perceive, for example, Cry for me is very deep. Mm -hmm. And I think this album is very special for me because of the movie, because the movie uh, touched me in that moment in, in a very deep part of my heart. I don't know. So, yeah, I, I love this album so much. It's and beautiful. I remember I... I I bought this album in the US and it was like one dollar. And I remember I was in the in this place, like it was a thrift shop or something. And I I took this album and I was like like I don't know, I left the album in the in other place and the owner was like, Don't leave it here. Put put it in the in the place. And I was like, I, I I'm buying the album. <laughs> so yeah. I remember that that anecdote it was very funny <laughs> because I was buying the album. So I remember that, that it was $1 and I was like very happy because I finally have it because 
I never saw this album here in Colombia. So it, it is rare because I only saw this, but yeah. I never saw other Mandy Moore's album albums oh. in Colombia. So yes, I, I love this album. And, and, and I think in this moment, it's like um, um, we are sharing this this feeling of this album. Yes. You know, guys? Yeah. Yes, yeah. We, we What love do it. you think, me, Mariel? Uh, well, I, I got this album when it came out. Uh, I asked my dad, please buy it for me. And he said, okay, okay, I'll buy it for you. And it brings me back to so many good memories because I took this album to Europe when we went out for a, about a month. And I did know that I had to take music with me. So I grabbed like a bunch of, of CDs and took them with me to Europe and my disc, man. So uh, when we were on the road, because we rented a car, I always played it. So it always brings me back to my trip to Europe. I don't know. It's it's there. So Beautiful memories. Every yes. time I see it, I'm like, oh, I remember listening to that when I was in Europe. So it's beautiful for me. And yes, I think it's more deep. I think it's more mature. Um, the songs have more like um, an adult vibe, which is great. She had a better production. Uh, my favorite song from this album is It Only Took a Minute. Um, <laughs> mine too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I love that song. It was produced by uh, and written by uh, uh, Emilio Estefan. So uh, it has oh, that. Okay. Yes. So I I love that that vibe it has. And like Lucas mentioned, it has a lot of Asian rhythms and stuff. And I think she used them because she knows she was big in Asia. Because oh, yeah. countries like the Philippines, Malaysia, um, Indonesia, and and South Korea and stuff. Uh, and others were very into her music so I think she said like oh I'm going to use like more Asian vibes too to please my very Asian clever. fans so which is great yes yeah so very clever yeah very clever yeah and and I love it I just love it I just can't say that uh, it's it's my favorite by her and my ranking would be a 10 which I guess it's the same for you guys Yes, and, it's and, 10, definitely. It's great, friends, because you have songs like uh, all, uh, 17, that oh, is very like, teen, but at the same time yeah. you have Cry, that is like an adult song. It's like two different Mandy's singing, and even in the voice, when she's singing 17, it's very sweet, it's very innocent, it's very girl, but when, this, when she sings Crush... It's different. It's yeah. like a mature woman. Each, each so song has a different vibe. Incredible. Yes, each yes. song has a different yes. vibe. It, it, it's so. impossible to And think that it's in, included. Connects. Yes. Yes, it's, it's impossible to think that two these two songs are on the same album. Yeah. Yes, yes definitely. So, well, it's a 10 for us, Lucas. I know your favorite song yes. is Crush. So. Yeah. And you, do you have a least favorite? Because. Uh, when I talk to you, is like the one I listen to the least. So, but it's not that I don't I like it. I have a list. Mm. Actually, the the favorite is hard because it's crush, but it's also saturated. Oh, saturated. And it's also yes. 17. And it's, <laughs> so I don't know. I really love everything, but the the one I don't like that much is is Split Chick. Okay. Yeah, it's like yeah. <laughs> And you, Mel? Yeah. For me, it's maybe Turn the Clock Around, my least favorite. Not because oh. I, I don't like the song, it's because like it's the one that I listen least the, to the least. Okay. You know, it's the one that I don't listen so much. So yes, maybe it's okay. for that okay. reason. Okay, well, so that was the pop era of Mandy. It all ended there. So yeah. yes. we know then she released... Um, her third album, Coverage, which is an album made of covers. <laughs> so I think, I don't know what you guys think, yes. but um, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I just hate the fact that she didn't remain pop, you know, that she didn't release okay. another album like, like this one, but, because she was doing great. So yeah. for me, when, when she released, Uh, coverage um, I'm like okay you like covers okay but it's you could have done better and funny because this was her highest ranking album her highest in the charts this is uh, her album uh -huh. the album that picked yes. 
I don't know what number, but it, it was better than the others. Higher. Yeah. Higher. So I, I like it. I like the idea that she loves covers because I love 70s music. I know you guys do like those music too, but I, I think that she definitely did a complete turn in her career doing um, this type of production. What are your thoughts? Guys, I'm sorry, Lucas. Uh, it's hard to talk about this uh, because I think she was really young. Like when she recorded this album, she mm -hmm. was like 18. I think she released it at 19 or 19. something. So maybe she was really trying to discover who she was and trying to separate herself from the other pop girls. And she was starting to, to do uh, great jobs on movies and, and things like that. So I don't really know where this idea starts with Mandy, where this idea starts with the label. I don't know, because I don't hate the album too, but I think it was in the middle of everything. It was not pop. And it was not pop rock like Avril Lavigne and Michelle Branch and everything. So it's kind of confusing. And I remember I saw an interview by her. I, I don't know if it's on the best of or something. And she's saying that she wanted to show to young people good music from, from the 70s and songs that she grew up listening. I don't know. I, I think it's... Uh, a weird idea sometimes I think they did that just to uh, release something the contract with the label because she was really busy doing movies I don't know I prefer yeah. something pop or really pop rock if it was the case but bad is, is not it's not bad no, We no, can it's say not that. a bad album I think it, it has good songs I mean she chose great songs from the 70s but uh Like you Classics. mentioned, I think she was too young to do something like that. And her image completely changed because she left yeah. the blonde Mandy go. And then she just was complete brunette. Yeah. And she looked older. So, I don't know. What are, what are your thoughts, Mel? I was about to say the same, Ariel. Uh, for me, here, Mandy Moore is a new woman, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, she's brunette now. She's singing 70s music. She, I actually, I didn't know. I was not sure about her age. Now that Lucas mentioned that, because I was not sure about it. So yes, it's a new woman mm -hmm. for me. It's like a new Mandy Moore. And now, and I think when I watch the interviews that she made in the in that era of of Britney Christina and everything, she hated to be compared mm -hmm. to them. I perceive that all the time she was like. I don't like, uh, uh, I'm not like the other girls. Like other girls, you know, like no one want to be compared to the others, of course. And she didn't want to, to be a Britney's clone, of course. But I don't know it was a, a good movement for her to release this kind of album. I think it was a good idea. I think, uh, okay, I want to show you my, like, like, like the, the music that built me, but at the same time, it was like, mm, okay, maybe uh, you can combine this with pop songs, you know, like making covers, maybe two covers, exactly. but not a whole album of covers. I don't know. Yes, maybe uh, a good decision was, like release two covers or include two covers mm -hmm. or three covers in the album and uh, and and, uh, and another songs with more yeah. pop vibe because actually this is the moment that I feel I feel disconnected from the Mandy's music I don't know very well uh, uh her catalog in that moment because I disconnect uh, I love her I her think a lot of people uh, a lot of her fans went through that same stage as you just mentioned because we were all in love with mandy's pop music and all of a sudden it's like what is this I yes. mean, why are you releasing something so different not not that it's bad it's, it's just that it's different <laughs> from what you were doing so i think she lost a lot of her fans because of this to be honest so um well that's that's my my idea of what happened because i, I think that she had a 
you know, a fan base and all of a sudden she changed she changed her whole thing, her whole image, her whole concept of music and stuff. And all of a sudden, she's like, I'm no, I don't, I no longer want to do pop music. And she began talking about her previous work, saying that she didn't like it, saying that she was embarrassed of that. Oh, so yeah. uh, to me, that, yeah. that was like very annoying because I grew up listening to your songs. How can you say that about your music that helped me? In my teenage years, uh, your music has been there. Why Why are you saying this to us fans? You know? Uh, okay, I know not everybody is in love with their whole catalog of music. You can always say, oh, I don't like this song or I don't like this one. But saying that you regret releasing those songs, I don't think it was a good choice for her, a good call for her because that made her lose fans somehow. Yes, I I, I and, can and understand. He... So, sorry, sorry, go. go go ahead. Please go. Okay, go sorry. Ahead. Uh, I can understand Mandy in that point because I we know right now that a lot of these pop girls were forced to do something for this specific audience. That the audience was us, <laughs> as as teenagers or or kids, but uh it's not good to say that, you know, because I know in this album, she was trying to be more real, <laughs> so real. <laughs> yeah, but because maybe she, w this is what, this is the music that she really liked at that time. She, she was herself, but at the same time, okay, you start doing a specific kind of music, very pop, very bubblegum, and suddenly you change it it's rare I, I understand mandy but at the same time it's like okay maybe maybe it, 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 maybe in a very slow way you know like not like like very radical yeah. i don't think so what do you think lukita yeah uh, I, I was actually going to mention that maria told us about the peak that was the the highest in the charts this album i think is pretty much because of uh, she was very popular with the movie I Want to Remember. And, and back then, people had to buy the album to listen. They, they didn't know what to expect. It was the only way to discover. So she was very popular. Uh, I, I don't think the, the peak of the album reflects the, the music, you know? I think it reflects her popularity. And once again, I think she was in some kind of middle terms when the label to get get rid of the contract like i want to do this they they want to do that because what comes next is actually this like best offs and compilations yes to end the contract so i think this was yeah part uh, be before we this. jump to that um what how would you rank coverage lucas Mao? Six. Okay. Five. Well, yeah, it's a, it's it's a six for me. What about you? Two. And and what's your favorite okay. song, uh, Lucas? Uh, have a little faith in me because he was the first single and it's the only one that I continue to listen until now. Like, okay. I like and, the song. Uh, yes. Mao, do you know any of the songs from this album? uh yes yes for sure um one way or another okay it's my favorite my favorite i think it's <laughs> yeah. can we still be friends i think this version of her is way better than todd ron greens mm -hmm. <laughs> but but for me for me for me don't, don't okay. get me wrong but uh she did yeah. a good job with can we still be friends and uh moon shadow by cut stevens i think it's a it's a good song and my okay. least favorite okay. I think it He's would good. be. Uh, there's one I uh, drop the pilot. I think for me it's like something about a monkey <laughs> or. <laughs> is the drop same the for. Monkey. <laughs> yes, and actually, is the one she tried to promote as second single. So <laughs> wrong again. Wrong again. So, oh, yes. Do yes. you have a least favorite mouth? 
No, mi Mariel. I know some songs, but I don't okay. have a list Good. favorite. And so, like Lucas mentioned, to end her contract with Epic Records, the label decided to release a, a Greatest Hits album, which she wasn't uh, um, happy with. She she wasn't happy about this because she said she, she, she didn't want a Greatest Hits album to be released, but to have her release of her contract, this had to happen. So, um, this... Only yes. contains her singles. Um, for those who don't know, um, two songs called "Top of the World" and "Secret Love," which were featured in movies, and a DVD with uh, her videos and live uh, versions of yes. some songs from coverage. But that's it. So it's not like wow, the greatest album. No, it's not. I just have it because of the DVD, not because I care about the songs. Because I, I love, I know yeah, I too. have the songs. <laughs> so, um, for me, it's like a uh, regular, uh, greatest hits, but not the best. Uh, Mao, do you have it or? No, I don't have it, Mariel, and I um... knew about the compilation and I know that what is the content, but that's all, yeah. like. Okay, it's like a compilation. Uh, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of compilations. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not. A, I, I know yeah. that people, and I know it's a it's a very good way to to get more people. Like maybe people that don't know very well your catalog is like the perfect. Um, it's like the perfect way to show uh, when, for example, you are uh, getting into a new audience. But I don't like so much the compilations, and this compilation is special. I, yeah, I'm not it's... familiarized with. Yeah. The cover is pretty. <laughs> at yeah, least. she looks good. I like the cover. Yeah, she looks she looks sexy actually. She looks very woman. Like, yeah, she, she looks she... very old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never understood no, this neither. one. Neither. <laughs> like... It's like blonde. <laughs> yes, it's funny. The name is Candy. The cover is old. It was released in 2005 with random tracks. It's really weird. <laughs> it looks like I a bootleg or something like that. It's, it's, yeah, it, but, it, but actually it's not. It was released under Sony Sony Music. Uh, it, it, yeah, it, it, it doesn't mm. look official. It's and funny. then yeah. a time went by for Mandy to release more music. And so in 2007, she came back with Wild Hope. Uh, an album that is more yes. folk oriented. Um, it does have some pop vibes, to be honest, because it does. But this work is definitely completely different from what she did in the 90s and early 2000s. So I like it. I do love this album. I, 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 I love the vibe in it. I love the songs. I love her, her, her voice. Her voice has, has never annoyed me, which is something great because she she always maintains this tone she doesn't scream or whatever so i i can listen to this album without getting tired of it but uh i want to know your thoughts uh lucas yeah this this album is good i don't know there's something about this era with mandy board that makes me sad because once again i think she was trying to discover herself and but there's something else that is her relationship with Ryan Adams that a, a, little, a little bit later we could know that he was very ab abusive with, with her and he was always uh, criticizing her past in music like oh. putting her down saying their songs weren't good which I think is a little bit of the, gu the guilty she felt all the time she was saying bad things about those albums basically came from this bullying that she suffered with her own husband because he's a musician. So in his mind, he could be like very cool because he was doing rock music, you know? So I don't really know how much it's her, how much is what she was trying to be, you know? I think she was on the way to discover, but it, it's good, it's a good album. Of course, there are songs here that I really like. I was listening to the, this today because I was discussing this this album with Mao uh, today. And it's a good album, of course, but back then I was not a fan. I was not a fan because it was not what I was expecting. 
uh, for her music. What it was not similar to anything I was listening in two thousand seven. Uh, so it took me and a while. You know. uh, did to you know much about this album me, or how? I definitely what like do you some think of it? Do you like album, it? Have sure. you listened to all the songs? Yes, to be honest, me Mariel, as Lucas said, I never heard this album in the past. I remember when I became a fan of Mandy Moore, I consumed all these three first albums because I love so much. But when I was in this point of her career, I was so disconnected. Like I don't maybe I listened in that moment like one or two songs from this album and that was all. But for today episode, of course, I did my homework. And I was listening to the album, the complete album, and I was discussing with Lukitas. And I perceive it's a good album. I perceive it's very organic, the album. I perceive also that she didn't want to sound like other girls, you know? Because it's yeah. impossible to compare Mandy Moore in that point to the other girls. And even to other folk girls, I don't know. It's impossible to compare her to Dido or Sarah McLachlan. I don't know. It's impossible to compare her because she was very no. unique in that moment. I consider it's a good album, but not for all the audience, you know? It's like this kind of R&B album that I listen in, in, in my case that I really love. Uh, some artists that have this kind of very R&B, like, I don't know, Mary J. Blige, for example, that has this kind of, that are very R&B, and you can perceive mm -hmm. that is for a specific people, you know, for a specific audience. I no, perceive I think the she same with, with I think, White I think she did it's it like more to please herself. Specific <laughs> target. It's not, it's not for every, yeah, for It's sure. not mainstream at all. Yes, it's not mainstream at all. Yes, and it's good. She was Hopeful. discovering herself. Yes, and and it's and it's good and it's good. But yes, maybe we as pop lovers love more the other works. But yeah. it's good. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, a good your, album, um, and it's a good rankings, like therapy because... for her. I don't know. I perceive that. Okay. Um. I think it's for me is a seven. This album, it, it's good. It's it's just not what I was expecting, okay. but it's I good will album. give it a nine because I really like it. It's a good production for yeah. sure. I give this and album a seven. And your favorite song? Too. Yeah, your favorite song, Lucas. Oh wow! Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. And talking about their okay. favorites, yeah. And Mao. Uh. I think it is latest mistake. I think it's my favorite. I discovered a favorite. What was friend? I'm I told you. For... Uh, let me see. You told me. Most of me. Looking forward to looking back. No. No. It's it's no. like the Woman four. In I think the first song. The four is most of me. Is not this one. No. All good things. Uh, slumming no. in paradise. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a nothing that three. you are. No, no, that the Mariel mentioned. That one, that one is my yes, favorite. It's I number three is I discover I discover yeah. that is my favorite. I, I like so much the vibe. And today I it's was good. I was taking a shower when I, I was listening yeah. to the album, and I was like, oh, I like that song. And and I'm putting it on repeat. My favorite and is I was nothing like, that oh, you are, it, which it, it's actually giving happens me good to vibe. be my favorite so, yes, Mandy song. I discovered in the my world, favorite so. today. <laughs> I love that song. Uh, no, no, no. My least favorite uh, is extraordinary. Okay. Uh -huh. I just don't part like of a that movie? song. I'm like, meh, meh. No, no, okay. Latest choice, yeah. And <laughs> okay. Mao. Do you have no, any least man. favorite? No. I think okay. my least favorite is Latest Choice. Oh, probably. okay. Okay. Great. So, well, no, this was a I don't very have different a least thing no, from Mandy. Because I discovered the album today. What she did in today. the past. So, it's something and now, new like, uh, for him. In 2009, 
two years after the release of Wild Hope, she released Amanda Lee. So uh, I have this edition. I don't know why, but um, Amanda yeah, I, I bought it in Vegas. Huh. It's oh, a US wow, version. it's beautiful, yeah. yeah. Now, I have to say, oh, this wow. album it's is, for US? is yeah. pretty similar to Wild Hope when it comes to the oh, folk vibe. Beautiful. And I have to say, I love it. I love this album. I don't know what are your thoughts, guys. I, I want to listen to you. But I think that she she this is the kind of music that she likes to do. Definitely. Because uh, she... You can actually hear it in her voice that she uh, she feels comfortable singing this kind yeah, of songs sure. uh, because she writes them all. She she wrote all the songs, I think. I think all of them. Um, but still, if you listen to "I Could Break Your Heart" any day of the week, it is the only song yeah. from this album that still sounds pop from the early two thousands. So, for me, that's my opinion. But I want to know what you guys think, Lucas. Oh. Uh, I was checking my version is from Argentina. Oh, That's wow. why it's different. Yes, I bought in Argentina actually. And I, I think I was very excited when she released the first single, I Could Break Your Heart Any Day of the Week <laughs> because it's more pop. But I, I, I feel like she was kind of mixing with singers like Duffy, and a little bit like in any house and really? the, mm. those kind of music that were popular back then uh but this is my least favorite album i gotta be honest i mm -hmm, didn't mm -hmm. listen a lot i prefer wild hope uh i think it's more more raw more deep i don't know than, than this so i don't have i don't really have a opinion like because i Listen only a few times in okay. my life, and I bought it like years later when I found in Argentina. I didn't experience that much this era, but maybe mm. I think I was really excited with the first single. And when I, I listened to the whole album for the very first time, I was and, like, And you, Mo, have okay, you listened to it? It's, it's not what I was expecting moving on from this. Yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> okay, yes, and it was funny because. Uh, I was thinking, and maybe I discovered Mandy in that era. Not because of the album, because of the story that I told you, but mm -hmm. because of this era was going on in that moment. I was like, okay, she's releasing new music in that in this moment, in in the, in that moment that I was listening to her, and uh, I was expecting like uh, something similar to the ones I that I could break your heart <laughs> with in that moment. So when I listen to <laughs> I can fall in love any day of the week, I could break your heart. I can break <laughs> your heart. <laughs> totally, totally the opposite. <laughs> I yeah. can break your heart any day of the week. I was like, I like it. I like that song. I don't know. It was because of I became a fan in that moment of Mandy. But I really like that song. But when I listened to the album in that moment, because this album I listened in that moment, I was like, okay, of course, the highlight is this song. And this is the reason it's the single, because I don't perceive any other song that was catchy or I don't know. And I listened to this album to this week, uh, okay. as, as, as I did with, with Wild Hop. And it was like the same, like, mm, oh, it's okay, but don't like it so much. But I really appreciate Mandy is doing something yeah. uh, I, real, well, for something me, genuine. You know? um, because I think I that she was that, doing what she loved. Genuine you know? in her but doing this. But when you actually see that era of her, it was like really sad seeing her performing in little libraries, yeah, you know, doing sure. small venues because, well, you know, she wasn't as popular as the other singers. So for me, it was a little sad to see her doing that, but I think that she felt happy with it. Yeah. I mean, she was the like, same. okay, I want to sing yes. what I like, not what a record label is telling me to, because I think this is from a very independent um, 
label and she recorded it in her house so it's not like I, I don't care really about the high sales or being so popular I just want to sing what I like this is what sounds to me like oh. uh, but but I think it, it does have good songs my my favorite is called song about home I love that song so much I find it so deep and very emotional I think that she was being really emotional with, by writing this song okay. so mm -hmm. I don't know what are your thoughts on the songs uh, what are your favorites Lucas okay for you too okay well <laughs> I could break your heart yeah Only. for me it's the same for me it's the same yeah yeah I, I i don't i don't see those eras the same way you guys do like you you guys perceive she was happy and doing her thing i don't see like that oh. i understand that, that she was trying to but I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this part of the relationship that i just mentioned with Ryan adams um because i think that impacted so much her, her career because in the same moment she was doing movies but only uh movies that were like straight to dvd because even those things uh he was like constantly uh, manipulating like you 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 cannot do this movie you cannot do this this, uh, this I type didn't of know role that. yeah so so i feel like everything could be way different without this guy so I, I don't perceive like something well, so she took honest. some time she actually took a lot of time to release more music is mandy, because we you know, know for... she took over 10 years finally, to release oh, okay. um silver linings i think it's called yes yes uh gotta be honest i only know one song the others didn't tuck yeah, super didn't, nice. I didn't this catch one. them. Like I, I know she's doing music because she likes it. Because she likes music, she she enjoys it. But I don't think that her latest two albums, which is Silver Landings and the other one, The Real Life, or something like that, um, in real life, um, uh, are not, you know, like great productions. But in real life, yes. Well, I want to know what you think, Lucas. Okay. Okay. For me, both albums uh, are way better than Wild Hope and Amanda Lee, in my opinion. I think she connected with this, with her husband, which is also a musician, and they created this album together. Uh, finally, in her her home, in a moment that she was doing great with This Is Us, we have inspired by her her character that was also a singer in the show okay so for me it's good music and i think it's one of those albums that i pay attention on the lyrics so maybe that's why uh, i feel so connected when I wasn't watching. and there are songs here they are very strong like when i wasn't watching that was the first single yes it's so good she's she's basically talking about this like in a moment in her life that she was not paying attention in herself in the time mm -hmm. flying uh while she's not seeing things happen like it's really good and there's the song 15 that she's finally make pieces with her past and saying uh i love wow. the girl that mm -hmm. was singing in the mall and she started to to say good things about the first albums again like she's proud of she, what she did so i think she's a moment that she's finally um oh, so. is many more like herself for sure like this time so I, I really like this album the other one in real life i think is um not that good like this one in my opinion but it's still good and there's a song uh called little victories in, in the other album that is very pop. Like I was shocked when I listened for the very first time. I was like, 
really she remember. accepted to do this mm -hmm. song because it's even similar to Mary Stern and Holt, you know, like very pop, really pop. So it was a surprise. It's a, it was a surprise for me. I really like this. For me, yeah, she, it's, she's, it's she's good a great to have singer, Mandy uh, for sure. In she, this, in this she type of does know music. how to write this, songs, this Mandy, which is also I like this important Mandy. because <laughs> she she gets into her lyrics and she wants to talk about her life somehow throughout her songs. So that's great. Uh, Mao, uh, what what yes. are your thoughts on these two? Uh, her final two albums. Uh, what are your thoughts? Yes, actually, actually, I was asking help to Lucas to understand these albums today because I was listening like to the whole catalog to be prepared for the episode. And Lucas told me that these are my favorites and I had the opportunity to listen to the songs. And I was like, I perceive realness here. I perceive reality here. It's like. But even I perceive reality in Wild Hop and Amanda Lee. But in this album in special, I perceive like, okay, this is a real mus musician, you know? Like, this is what... Maybe it's not like the music that I like from her. Maybe it's not the kind of music that I like because maybe it's too folk or too... I don't know how to, to describe it. Yeah. But I perceive that this is real. This is real. <laughs> this is so real. This is this is real. Uh, this is the real Mandy Moore. Like she's talking about different subjects, like in the past, during his life, during her life. It's incredible that an artist has this opportunity to put everything together and say, "Okay, this is me, but this is the real me." You know, like very organic. So I think it's great. Maybe it's not my kind of music, baby. Maybe I don't like so much the songs, like maybe the melody, or maybe I, I like more other. But comparing to the to the R and B singers that I like and did the yeah, same in one I, moment. I have to be honest and life, say that I need to listen I to them again. Like, okay, because okay. first time I, it was I like, like this. Ah. So I haven't really paid much attention yeah. to them. So I need to do it. But I, but the song um uh, yeah. When I wasn't watching, I love that one. I like that one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's good. I, I think it's, it's uh, more mainstream than the past albums. It's We're like missing. There's some adult contemporary elements that the other ones hasn't like it's pure folk the, the yes so now is is more radio friendly exactly. i don't know there is a lot okay. of 80s uh elements we were, we were like, happy to have like, her back with music yes, not the, the, the pop it took her 80s, so like the classic to release 80s music that so. is what because she, she focused likes, more on her sure. acting career which is now what we're going to talk about um we know that her first movie was the princess diaries which yes. was the mean girl to anne hathaway's character and it was fun seeing her, you know, because I, I don't know your thoughts about uh, Mandy's acting career, but I think that she's fabulous as an actress. She definitely gets into her characters. I don't know if you guys watch This Is Us, but uh, her power in acting, I mean, she definitely fills the whole uh, the whole screen because yes. she's she's really good. She's a great actress. And even though she began doing, you know, more like romantic comedies, which is The Princess Diaries or A Walk to Remember, she did a great job in this one. Because yes. you you really, she made you cry. I mean, she made me cry for sure when I watched it. Uh, it was really touching. I think that she really connects with yes. her characters. So, Lucas, what's your opinion on Mandy's acting? Yes. I think she's amazing. I think uh, since the beginning, like in the Princess Diaries, like she was the blonde, the mean girl. But I think in real life, 
she was not like that, so it, it was already a challenge for her. But in a walk to remember, I think she looked so different, like the hair in her face and the way she was talking. Uh, I think she did an amazing yes. job. That's why she she won uh, MTV Movie Awards uh, in the next year. I, I remember she was very shocked because she was never the girl winning. <laughs> so suddenly uh, in a movie, something that was not music that she was doing for a while, she won. I, I remember to see her very happy and very shocked. And I think she continued to grow. And for a while, uh, her characters were like the same, uh, was was not that different. One was more rebel, the other one more romantic, but it was very similar. And then This Is Us came yes. to bring Mandy Moore to the place where she deserves to be. That is like a real star. Yeah. So the way she did that, like... Yeah. The young and the adult and the older Rebecca was insane, was insane because she did an amazing job. Oh, and I know that it was a lot of work to put all the makeup, like hours and hours. And This Is Us was a great show, like beautiful, beautiful, made you think about a lot of things. Life, so. Yes. Yes, I feel like now she's in a point that she can yep. choose Definitely. what she's going Definitely. to do next. Well, what are your favorite uh, movies because by she Mandy? Don't uh, which need ones to do prove you like? Anything to anyone anymore? Yes. Oh, really? Okay. I don't know if I told you, but this is my favorite movie oh. of my Ever. life. Ever. Oh. This is my favorite movie. Yes. This is my number one movie of my life, yeah, ever. This is my favorite movie. So I love Mandy Moore as an actress. I perceive she's a real actress. And I don't Out want to compare, four? but yes. at the same time, it's <laughs> necessary to make a comparison with the other girls. And she is a real actress, you know? The, the, the... Yes, yeah. yes, she's a real actress. She did it great, like, uh, you, as you mentioned, Maria, when she did this kind of movies, like romantic, comedy, etc. Okay, it was like the same character, but for example, in A Walk to Remember, she's this girl that, that is sick, that it's a very romantic... I, I, I Actually, I read the book, and the book is totally different, and I think she, she, she did an amazing job in this movie. When Shane West, I love the movie so, so much. And it's like the perfect combination because she was in the music, The Sweet Girl. And in this movie is The Sweet Girl, but we, from a different point of view, you know? So I love yeah. her. And in This Is Us, that was like a revolution, like an explosion. Uh, I remember my siblings uh, were watching the series and they were like, you should you should watch this, the, the series because it's Mandy Moore on it. And they, they, of course, they know that I love Mandy Moore. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try. Maybe it's not my kind of series, but I love and I enjoy so much watching the series because it's like Lucas said, it's about no. life. It's very deep. It's not this kind of, of series that is like maybe mystery or or maybe action it's not something Racism. like that it's like it's mm -hmm. about life it's about real life and the real situations about ra racing racisms ra racist <laughs> racism thank you it's about racism it's about uh problems into the family it's beautiful and i it's great to see mandy yeah, in she did a this great job. Role, like the no, old no girl, wonder the old she was lady. always nominated for Best uh, the, Actress when, when in the when Golden Globes and the Emmys because great, she always did a great job. I love And her. out of the other movies, yes, yes, yes uh, one, I'm sorry, yes. Lucas, yes. Yes, yes. 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 Yeah, the, sh the show inspired her to make music yes, she again. Was, she's she's, she's very proud of it. So, definitely. Oh. can you imagine?
This yeah. show must be the most amazing thing in her life, for sure. In her life, yes, yes. And yes. I perceive Mandy very solid, you know, in her career, she was very solid because she was releasing music, she was involved in the TV yes. and, and the movies, but she was, uh, all the time, she was always very solid in her career, you know, in comparison yes. to, you know, like we know right now, what what is happening with Britney Spears with the with the book and everything so when you see the past it's yes. like okay she, these like girls I mentioned at the were beginning struggling of the video, with a she lot has of stuff had, but Mandy she has always had a career without scandals that, you know without uh, people saying oh did you know what she did now have you seen her lately she's so drunk or no she doesn't have any of that in her resume <laughs> so we can say that she has had a flawless career when it mm. comes to her personal life. Uh, and yeah, and her acting is mm. always so good. I I have here some of her movies. I have this called All I Want, which is so bad, yeah. but I like it. I mean, it's... Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, but my like favorite Mandy more movie is I like this Safe. movie, but yeah. it's very like, I like linear. everything. Yes. I adore this yeah, song. Boring, uh, this song, this, good. this movie yes. is amazing. So, uh, so fun. Have you seen it? It's Matt? my favorite too. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're going I to like it. it. It's Christian. So, so yes, yes, you're going to love it. It's so fun. No, never, never. I was no, you're going to love this. Okay, yes. okay, okay. I, 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 I watch. Well, uh, this one course, is called to How to Deal, the which Princess is uh, in here. In here, let, let, it's let, 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 let us this, see the others, Mariel. <sighs> yes, yes, that one. This one is so cute. How, How to, to deal. deal? Yes. What? You know, yes, I know that. And the other, the the oh, with Robbie Williams. Yes, I don't I, have I that like one. So I have much. the Rob, it, uh, Chasing that Liberty. Robbie Williams. That Robbie Williams yeah. is like a police or something. I love this something. one. It's so cute. And and yes. I love that. I also have yes. because I said so, which is also one of my favorites. Oh, Chasing Liberty. Because yes. I love Diane Keaton so, and they two make a great couple together. Yeah. Like, yes. As mom, as mom and daughter. So this one is really fun. Oh, okay, and I, that's okay. those are the ones I have by yes. by Mandy. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, America American Dreams. Um I, I like that American one that Dreams. She is it's in really a good. Show like American Idol. Yes, I was I was thinking of, I was <laughs> thinking about that movie. Yes. No. Yeah. She's and, mean. And she had the movie with in that movie Michelle she's safe, yes. In that movie she's True. mean. Like she's not like the good girl. She's like yeah, she's mean. mean. Yes. yes. But Mao, you should watch Save It because okay. it's very ironical with the whole Christian scene, yes. you know, like trying to be good. They there's a lot of jokes about trying to portray the herself CCM like board, the, like the school the is Christian <laughs> where they live. And Mandy is like a, a mean girl, but yes. like saying you You're should... going to love it. You're going to yes. love it now. <laughs> okay, judging okay, everyone, okay, okay. but as a Christian girl, but it's, she's the mean girl, so it's I gotta very watch it. Off. I gotta watch it. Oh, wow. Yes, you yes, should look yes, up for yes, it. Yes. Uh, it's and really I nice. know that movie and, exists. Well, that's I, I, all about I knew Mandy that this, today. This I mean, we could talk so, yes, more I, about yeah, I gotta her, watch but it. we have now discussed her discography yes, and her movies, sure. and we know that she's a great actress, a great singer, and she's a complete celebrity, you know? She's not only like, oh, I try to sing i try to act no she can sing and she can act so i think this was a very yeah, fun yes. episode talking about this girl that i know with three love so i don't because i already i already asked you the questions about your favorite and your list so it's yeah, yes. yes do you but, have um, any game it was great getting to know more about the, the things you like about mandy and I would like oh, yeah. to get yeah, to know are, what right. our, yes. our audience thinks about her. Please leave us your comments here of what are your thoughts on her music, on her acting. Uh, what would you have done different in her music career? Because I know she has had like from this and that and that, but she has done great yeah, things. Please. 
throughout her Later. music career. Yeah. Um, so thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, to give us a big thumbs up, yeah. and follow us on Instagram, at writersatpoppod, and um, feel free to leave us your feedback so we can improve. And, well, stay tuned, because we have a lot of surprises coming out. Yes. Yay. Yes. Yes. Uh, see ya.